In this video, we're heading from Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai for the weekend. This is our first time visiting the city, and although we weren't sure what to expect, we were actually shocked by some unbelievably good... That was one of the best restaurants we've been in in Thailand, I'd say. ...and also pretty bad experiences. It's got potential, but it's not potential for a It's a bit seedy. Come along as we show you a first glance of Chiang Rai. All right, good morning, guys. It is currently eight o'clock in the morning, and we're just packing up our stuff to head to Chiang Rai. Sorry, 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 so it's not a VIP bus and it costs us 261 baht per person. On the ticket it said to go to the desk to see if we needed to get it printed out and it would have cost us 30 baht each. But apparently we could just show our phone. But it's quite early in the morning so we're still a little bit groggy out I guess. I am groggy. Yeah, the gas is not getting behind the camera yet. But yeah, see what this journey's like. Hopefully it's stress free and easy. This journey is supposed to take four hours. We've got a complimentary bottle of water, a good amount of leg room, and we're ready to go. So we have just arrived in Chiang Rai and now we're going to walk to our hostel which is about eight minutes in this direction. It is pretty hot but not too hot to not walk I think. We'll save the bath shall we? Yeah. So this way. So we've arrived in our hostel. My God, you wouldn't even class it. It's not a hostel. It's like a five-star hotel for us. It's stunning. You get free coffee. Yeah, and toast. Probably don't even need to go out to eat tonight. For 650 baht per night, which is what we paid for a private room, it's pretty swanky, isn't it? Yeah, we're very happy. We want to have a nice relaxing weekend, doing temple hunting tomorrow, etc. So it's nice to be in a nice room whilst we do that rather than in a party hostel like last weekend. We'll give you a quick look around the hostel now whilst we get our bearings. Okay, first stop on the agenda, we need to get some lunch as we had no breakfast and it's now 1pm so we are pretty hungry. We found a really nice local northern Thai cuisine restaurant so we'll be heading there first. It says press the button and wait here, very strange. They're deciding whether to let us in. So we're at Barab restaurant which I found on TripAdvisor because it has gluten-free options. Isn't it like number seven oh. restaurant in the whole of Chiang Rai? Yeah, it's number seven restaurant in the whole of Chiang Rai. So basically it's really, really good when we've come in. She's explained the whole menu to us. It's got Northern Thai cuisine, their specialities. She's very fluent in English and like really explains the menu to you. It says that it's all made fresh and there's a lot of Westerners and local people in here. But I'm really excited to try it. We're gonna try loads of dishes. We've probably over-ordered, haven't we, Gaz? Definitely over-ordered, but we haven't had breakfast so well. Yeah, but we're very excited. We've got some good food on the way. I've got traditional chicken cow soy, although I've got a chicken breast instead of chicken leg, so it's not 100% traditional. It's got crunchy, crispy noodles on the top, soft, kind of soft noodles in the middle and obviously chicken and like a red sauce so very nice. Oh look at that, look at the colours. Gone for stir fry vegetables with garlic and black bean <coughs> sauce which is unusual for me because I can't usually get stir fry in Asia because of soy sauce but they even have a gluten free soy sauce here which is absolutely banging. I've been missing vegetables so much while I'm out here so it looks really nice. Mm. Salty. Exactly what you'd expect really. No bananas were hurt in the making. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? 
final dish is chicken and cashew nuts, which again is something that I don't usually get because it usually has soy sauce in it. So it's probably not that exotic for everyone else, but for me, this is stuff I can't usually eat, so it's very exciting and it tastes unreal, literally. Good. Yeah. Lovely, Thank thanks. I need sunglasses on. Yeah, well, number one, Abby needs to get sunglasses. <laughs> number two, that was one of the best restaurants we've been in in Thailand, I'd say. Yeah, she was really, really good. So informative. 100% five star. Yeah, we'll we? be going back. Definitely, definitely. But now we're going to just have a little bit of a mooch and check out Chiang Rai and just see what the vibe is like. Yeah. Right, so we were actually going to go towards the main town or like the centre bit that way. Then we turn around saw this absolutely bloody gorgeous temple. We're, we're at the stage now where we're almost templed out. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be good then. But no, do you know what I mean? Like tomorrow they're like really big temples. But this one has caught our attention. So let's go and have a look. <laughs> this bad boy is Wat Jed Yod, built in 1844 by a Buddhist monk named, I'm not even gonna pretend to say that. But yeah, it was, it's pretty snazzy, doesn't it? Yeah. Abby can't go in because she's dressed like a hoe again. <laughs> and uh, and You're I, horrible. But I can. Although I've pulled my I've had to pull my shorts down. Yeah, you a bit. wear hot pants. So. Yeah, I like short shorts. I like short shorts. made it to the clock tower walking in the sweltering heat of the midday sun in the city but obviously it's pretty snazzy we wasn't sure if this was actually it because it's just in the middle of a roundabout but yeah you've just kind of walked to a roundabout and we've walked around it and this is the clock tower so pretty snazzy playing some Ed Sheeran okay after a quick walk around the city I'm actually quite surprised at how many Irish pubs there are for sure yeah I always thought of Chiang Rai is like the small town of like that you'd stop at before you went to Laos. It's a normal city but it's got so many like western themes like German bars, Irish pubs. Oh, obviously we're staying in the main touristy area and there's loads of stuff to explore around here but yeah it's very westernised isn't it? It is indeed, it's surprising. I, I am not going to lie, I really want to get a pint tonight from like the Irish pub so. We might have to do it. We will be doing it. Literally we were saying that just there and then there's another German beer house, Barbican beer here. I'm going to have a look at the prices, so if we can get a Stein that would be sick. Live music tonight. We're going to just chill by the hostel for a little bit. Abby's going to play me at pool hopefully. Yeah. Are you going to play me at pool? Good. And yeah, and then we'll go back out later, check out the the nightlife. So now, after seeing all of those cool bars earlier, we've now realised that Chiang Rai has actually a pretty good nightlife. So we're quite up for a few drinks tonight. So we're going to go explore the town after dark and see what it's really like. I can literally see thousands of bats flying in the sky. And I think one shit on me earlier when I was sunbathing. So. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, lucky me. Lovely. <laughs> that road just there was given a bit red light district vibe. So let's hope further along it's a bit more family friendly. We've gone to the traditional Thai bar called Bavarian Beer House, right? They actually do steins as well, but I'm not gonna get a litre stein for 450. But they do draft beer as well. So they do pints of cider, they do just half litres of Heineken, the normal. So yeah, looks good, looks good. That was a 
quite a nice little bar. The one thing I am noticing is there's a lot of sex pats, we'd call them. <laughs> Terrible, but not many backpackers. But we're heading on to the next place now, which is we think the Irish bar. The Irish bar. We're going to try and get some food, have a bev. There's live music, and yeah, we'll see what that's about. Let's see what the crack is. We've ordered food at O'Kane's Irish Bar. Very Western food, but looks very nice. Also seems like the busiest place in town at the moment. There was live music on at half seven. I'm not sure if that's every night or just tonight, but it was pretty vibey to be fair. All right, after a few drinks at the Irish pub, which was quite good fun, Food, mm, probably the worst yeah, meal we've had on. Not, not the best meal, but good vibes and, and nice stuff. I think it was our own fault for going to an Irish pub for dinner. People will come at us for that. The nightlife here, it's got potential. It's got potential, but it's not potential for a It's a bit seedy. Yeah, it's slightly There's a lot of like seedy. sex tourists and like, um, and a lot of ladies of the night yeah but yeah not not one for us we're gonna head home now but bit of a random vlog i hope you've enjoyed it make sure you give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one bye bye